as a commission, our worry is that uh, why is uh, our investigation agencies uh, not, you know, taking the appropriate action, at, you know, to protect uh, the, the, the Kenyans. That is what uh, concerns the commission right now. And we are not even sure with the around 70 cases uh, that we recorded. Uh, we don't know about tomorrow uh, because the previous trends have shown that those numbers are indeed uh, increasing. I think the immediate threat that I see is that uh, uh, you know, those who have been uh, quite vocal and speaking on, you know, issues, they are likely to go into hiding, you know, for fear of their lives. And uh, there must be guarantees that when issues are raised, uh, questioning, you know, accountability, questioning transparency, there must be a way we protect those who raise those voices. One of the first things that needs to be done is uh, like having a national conversation, you know, about the uh, shrinking uh, civic space and uh, you know people coming openly and the government being you know very sincere uh, about the need you know to have another voice especially you know uh, uh, for the citizens uh, secondly when incidences you know uh, do occur then we expect the various agencies of government especially the investigative agencies of government especially where there are threats to the leadership of civil society organizations uh, you know coming out investigating and those a culpable action is indeed uh, taken. Justice must be seen, uh, you know, to be uh, done at all times. On the basis of the statistics uh, which the Commission has recorded, uh, this indeed impacts negatively on, uh, you know, the human rights uh, status uh, in the country. Such killings uh, indeed, uh, you know, uh, shouldn't happen uh, in a democracy. Uh, you know, disappearances, uh, torture, for instance, uh, those should not even uh, happen when we already even have, uh, you know, the Prevention of Torture Act of 2017 in the country. So there is a framework, but I think action needs to be taken at all times to ensure that we protect, uh, you know, our own, uh, uh, reputation as a country and also protecting our people. However, we acknowledge there are other systems uh, in place uh, by the government uh, to provide protection. For example, we have the Witness Protection Agency, uh, where then, uh, where a leader suspects, uh, you know, from civil society, uh, suspects that their life is in danger, then they can approach you know, the Witness Protection Agency and other organizations to ensure that, you know, they, they, they are very, very secure. But, uh, for the young people, uh, the commission um, is there for you. Uh, we will, uh, you know, promote and protect your rights. We will speak in various, uh, you know, spaces for you. Uh, keep on raising issues on, uh, you know, accountability, be they economic accountability, be they political accountability. So they should interfere because the Constitution of Kenya 2010 has given them, you know, that space to raise issues. And that is one of the ways of making the country a better place, you know, for everyone, uh, you know, to live in tomorrow. So feel safe that uh, the Commission will uh, speak for you. Uh, where situations arise, we will be there for you. But I do believe that uh, this country, with the constitution that we have, and everybody playing their role in government, in civil society organizations, and the citizens themselves, Kenya is such a beautiful country uh, for all of us you know, to live in.